Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So, I actually have some news to, to, to tell you guys. Um, it's not exactly good news, it's probably bad news. For most of you, it's probably bad news. The only thing that, it's only good news for me, because I uh, finally decided to do something. <laughs> um, now, this is probably going to com completely, completely contradict um, what I, I said in the last channel update video. But it was, uh, you know, the reason why I made some decisions in my last channel, channel update video is because I was actually in the process of something. I was in the process of uh, making a decision. And uh, I kind of, I feel like I kind of went, went, uh, went too far ahead in, in, uh, in you know, in making my, my decision. And uh, I, I don't think it's ex exactly right. Um, but I'll give you guys the TLDR. Um, the TLDR is just so, you know, if you don't care at all, you can just click out. Um, it's just, I decided that I'm going to go work, make some money, and uh, as a result, I won't have as much time um, to make YouTube videos. That's, that's, that's the TLDR. Um, I might not be able to make videos every single day. And also, uh, I'm kind of putting off um, making my own brand and website for now just uh, I, I'm, st I'm still gonna do it in the future it's just I don't think I, sh I have the ability to do that now I don't I, I need to have a bit of money first before I do anything and it's also me wanting to um, you know make a bit of money or making something take off or something like that before before uh, you know, like I, I didn't have any plans really. Like I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. Like if I start that website, start a second channel and stuff like that. Um, it was mainly really because I don't have any other skills, to be honest, besides, besides what I know how to do on YouTube, which could be pretty valuable depending on how you use it. But uh, you know, it's also a lot of hard work, like building up a YouTube channel, um, and. Yeah, I just that that's that's pretty much it. That's that's what I decided. So it's just I decided to start working. I won't have as much time to make YouTube videos, and I will not have time to um, make make a uh, make a new website. Yes, or or, or a second channel. Um, now the the reason why I came to this conclusion was because well actually actually it wasn't anything grand. It was like a a awakening moment like an epiphany basically um, it was almost like a voice in my head it was like hey 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 Isaac hey 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 how's it going you know um, how about how about instead of living like a fucking scrub Go make some money so you can live a better life. Like that's that's it. That, that was it. That was the uh, that was the voice in my head. It just it just spoke to me exactly like that. Those were the exact words, um, and and yeah, I was like, hmm, makes a lot of sense. I, I really I, I have no counter arguments, and and that was it. That was that was the that was the end of that. Um, and and yeah, I basically came to that conclusion. It took a long time to come to that cl conclusion, but I I think I have this this like just this awakening moment basically like it was an it was an awakening it was like when uh yeah it's like when you th that, that step before you evolve a monster you know you feed other monsters into it and it awakens it becomes more powerful that's it i haven't gone to th through the evolution yet but i I've, I've i've gone through the awakening um but yeah, that was that was pretty much it. Um, you know, I didn't really have a problem when I moved in. I just kind of thought, all right, this is the trade-off. I don't uh, I don't work. I live as minimally as possible. I try to make my you know YouTube work, and eventually maybe I can make this into like a career or some shit like that. Um, and that was the plan. And yeah, it's 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 not working too well. <laughs> it's not working too well, and uh, and it's pretty dumb now. Now that I think about it, um, it's 
it's unrealistic. It's it's just that's all I can say. It's unrealistic. Um, and the the only reason why I came to this conclusion is actually just coming out and living on my own. You know, learning how to manage my own money and and stuff like that um, instead of you know just living at home. You know, not really having to worry about anything at all. Um, you know, I I uh, I would always have food in the fridge. Like my parents. My grandparents would buy it, um, and I would always, always, you know, be able to eat great food, stay at home, you know, not have to do anything. Um, it, 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 it kind of was a necessary step, I think. It was, it was necessary, I think, for me to live like this um, for this this little while in order to for me to come to this conclusion that I should probably should probably do something with my life instead of instead of this um now i mean for some of you guys it might sound super simple it's like yeah you you found out that you need to work to get money oh you know like that's that's probably what you're thinking right now um and i i understand but i i feel like it's i don't want to ever blame my parents for this um i feel like my but i i want to take full responsibility for this by the way um, but I feel like, I feel like I, I'm pretty spoiled. I think I am pretty spoiled. Um, I've never really known any hardships. I've never experienced any hardships in life. And this, this probably isn't much compared to a lot of people, um, you know, living like this, it might already seem pretty good. Um, but, but the, the trade-off is like, I can, I can trade in my time and energy to do work and I can get money and I can live a better life you know that's 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 the conclusion I, I, I came to and I, I I realize that now I, I just it took a while but I, I realize that now um, you know there's no there's no magical solution in life there's just there's just trade-offs really you trade one thing for the other if you want to live like this fine but you also like if you want to not work fine then you also have to live like this if you want to you know if you want something better then you have to work like that's that's it that's 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 all there is to it like money doesn't come appear out of thin air and money is not like monster super league where you just go outside you know if i bang my head on the tree a few times you know gold would fall out as well as some energy i would magically have more energy to do shit as well um you know i can't i can't do that um so <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna work. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make money. That's that's it. That's it. That's that's all all I all all I have to say really. Um, it's pretty. It's actually quite funny how I kind of came to this conclusion. Oh well, actually, what really solid solidified my decision. Um, a friend of mine actually sent me an ebook a few few days ago, and it's uh it's called the subtle way the subtle art of not giving a fuck. Um, he he actually linked it on my Discord channel. Um, and I gave that book a listen and it was actually pretty good. It was only like five hours long. I was able to just leave it on while I do other things. And it was, uh, it was quite nice. It, they had a lot of, uh, really good, uh, he had a lot of really good things to say. A lot of things I agree with. Um, a lot of things I already knew already, but he told a lot of stories that, well, although I've heard the stories before, I've never really thought about it in that way. Um, and there was a particular story that I, I, I heard that almost kind of mirrored my life. Um, and, and it was, a it was a story, um, it was part legend, part story, but mostly true, um, uh, mostly a true story. Um, so the story kind of goes like this. It's, uh. This, I'll tell you which part's legend, which which part's actual like history, um, but basically, or which part's probably true, um, but basically the, the 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 story goes like there was a king, um, and he had a son, you know, so a prince was born, and the he received a prophecy about his son. Uh, the prophecy was that the son would either one day become a great king or he would become a great religious leader. Uh, that was the prophecy. And this king obviously wanted his son to become a great king. So um, he had this plan to make sure that, you know, whatever happens, he would not, like, 
you know, go and um, go into like the realm of religion or, or, or touch anything um, that had to do, had to do with that. So he uh, he wanted his son to um, basically live the best life possible. He tried to give his make sure that his son lived the best possible life, to make sure that his son never knew what suffering was, and um, would would just be constantly showered with, with whatever he needed and whatever he wanted. Um, so he built up walls around the palace to make sure that his son could never see what what was actually what it was actually like outside. So he would only know the pleasures of life, um, and that's what he did. So the son kind of grew up, and um, the king gave him everything that um, he he thought his son would need or want or whatever his son asked for. He gave, and just everything. And the son, you know, uh, he, yeah, he probably like I probably imagined there was just lots of good food, you know, you know, soft bed. Lots of bitches too, probably. You know, it's you know he is a king and he is a prince, so probably lots of bitches, and and yeah, that's that's what he did. He the son grew up into, or the prince grew up into adulthood, but um, he was actually very miserable. Um, he he just felt really empty um, about his life, and he he always wanted something more. And the only thing that he was not allowed was his father forbade him to ever go outside the castle walls. So he would always stay within the palace. Um, he wanted to see what was beyond the castle walls. So he, uh, he basically forced a servant of his to sneak him outside. And um, when they snuck outside, like he, they basically snuck outside one night. And when he snuck outside, um, he he encountered a few things that completely horrified him. Horrified him. Um, he saw people suffering. He saw people dying. He saw people starving, and, and he uh, he was just really shocked and really confused. He didn't really know what to think because he didn't he didn't know that you know life outside was was like this. And when he returned to the palace, um, he he came to the conclusion for some reason i don't know why he would but probably someone in his position would very likely come to this conclusion that the reason why he's miserable is because he never knew what suffering was so he wanted to go out and experience suffering and he basically uh, he almost kind of grew resentful of his father as well for giving him a life like this and um he he wanted to go outside and just make sure he lived the most like the most horrible life ever uh, to suffer as much as humanly possible. So he went out, he was just basically a beggar on the streets, you know, and he just had no shelter, had no food. Um, he would constantly be starving and just like eating as little as he can just to starve himself even more, you know. And uh, he he also like, you know, got some diseases and shit and just tons of, tons of crazy shit. Um, and yeah, his plan worked. His plan worked very, very well. He suffered quite a lot. And, uh, but, but he, after a while, he realized that, you know, it's just something that everybody else knew, everybody except him, that suffering just kind of sucks. Like, there's, there's no reason to it. Like, there's no meaning to it. Just, it just kind of sucks. And, uh, he was like, all right, um, fuck this. I'm gonna go do something else. And he got up and, um, but he didn't know what to do, what exactly to do. And he didn't really know what to make of his life. So he just he came up with this other idea of um, he was going to just sit under a tree and think about life until he came up with some answers, and that's what he did. And legend says that he sat under a tree for 49 days. I, I think that was it. And eventually he came to the conclusion that suffering is inevitable. It is everywhere. Um, even if you don't have physical suffering, you have suffering elsewhere. Like even if you don't, um, you know, you have all your needs met, um, then you would you would feel really empty if you don't have all your needs met you're you're suffering because of that because like say for example you're starving you're starving because you're you're suffering um from that but then you wouldn't be suffering from the 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 misery of you know not having anything to do with your life um and he basically there's also different degrees of suffering as well you know it's not the same thing you know starving in the street like it's different from if you're if you're working a job and you're, um, you know, you're you're kind of not happy doing your job, versus you're on the streets starving. You know, you don't have food. 
you know, obviously you're suffering a lot more if you're on the streets without food versus if you're working a job that you, you don't really like. Um, so yeah, there's, there's d definitely different degrees to suffering as well. And, um, you know, he kind of just founded his, a lot of principles and made his own philosophy. You guys might've heard of him. Um, he is called like, he is later known as the Buddha. If you, uh, if you know the story. Um, but yeah, I, I felt like my, my life had a lot of parallel to Buddha's story of how he became Buddha. Um, my, I don't want to, yeah, like, I don't, I don't want to, you know, like, I want to be responsible for, for my life. I want to be, res like, I'm taking full responsibility, um, for this, but I, I think I, I definitely was a little bit spoiled. I think I don't want to, like, my, my parents were really, really great. They, they gave me everything I needed, everything I sometimes every anything i wanted well not all the time but like most of it, everything i wanted um <laughs> we were i wouldn't say we're exactly rich but we were pretty wealthy um there's a difference by the way um, wealthy means that you can get well obviously that that's subjective as well but uh, wealthy means that you can buy anything that you need and being rich that means that you can buy anything that you want that's the difference between being rich and being wealthy um, we were pretty wealthy. I had all my needs met. Anything that I needed, um, I, I, I got. Um, anything that, that I thought, my parents thought I needed, I got as well. Um, so I, I definitely lived a really, really easy life growing up. And, um, you know, I, I never really knew what it was like to, I, I think I had a taste of what it was like. Um, the first time I went to, I, I came to Canada. Well, not the first time I came to Canada because I grew up here. But after when I came here to, uh, for my first year of college, I actually dropped out within a year. It was just me being a, being a fucking scrub, really. Like, I just, I skipped classes. I played too much video games and ate too much pizza. And yeah, I just, I dropped out. Um, but even then, during that time, I, I was still, I still had the, like, you know, my parents supporting me financially, so I was able to just do whatever the fuck I want. Um, but there, there also came times when, like, you know, I was sick, I was lonely and stuff. Um, but I think especially during the time when, right before I went back to Taiwan after I dropped out, um, you know, I didn't have anyone nearby, and I was I was sick, I was, like, fevering during that time. I didn't have the energy to go out. Um, I didn't really have any medication, so I basically just lied on my bed for, like, two weeks until I um eventually became better and you know i was still sick all the way up to the airport and i on my way home on the on the airplane to taiwan and it, it was it was a pretty bad experience but um definitely did suffer a bit you know i i feel like that's almost like the parallel of like when when buddha went out for the first day like it, he he realized that life isn't all uh all uh all fun and games and you know, during that time, I, I went back to Taiwan. That was actually, I think, when I realized that I was, uh, I was very spoiled. You know, because at, at the same time, um, you know, when my parents wanted me to go back to Taiwan, I didn't want to really return, because I, uh, I, uh, you know, I, I really like the freedom of being able to do whatever the fuck I want. Um, but at the same time, I didn't want the responsibility of being like financially independent and stuff like that. Um, and I, I tried to get a job at, during that time, but it just I just kept delaying it. I kept delaying it until like my my dad was like, "No more! Like you're you're coming home now." And then and that's what I did. Um, but yeah, it was it was it just it was kind of at that time when I was like trying to look for work, and then I like just kept pushing it off to the like the next day. Like I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Um, that that I realized that I actually was really, really spoiled. I think it was that, that moment, like during that time that I realized that I was very, very spoiled. Um, and once I returned to, r once I returned to Taiwan, um, you know, I've been, I've been trying to unspoil myself, but I was still really spoiled. I mean, the most I did was like when I wanted a computer, um, I didn't, I didn't beg my parents for it. I, I went and I to a net cafe and I just worked and made money to buy the computer. Um, it was definitely a really good experience because I wanted to, you know, be a streamer, be a YouTuber and stuff. And that's how I, how I got this PC over here. Um, and, and, uh, and yeah, even that didn't last very long because I just worked for two months and I was I was actually pretty 
you know, I just, I was just like, I'll just, just, just another few days, and then I can, I can stop, and eventually I, I'll be able to buy my computer and stuff like that. But even then, when I started doing YouTube and stuff, um, it was still just, you know, I just wanted to. It was a, it was an escape, really, because I, I, I just, I just kept trying to escape the uh, necessity of like having to go to work and shit. It, I know it sounds extremely dumb, extremely scrubby, like what the fuck like Fanta like what the fuck um but uh, <laughs> but yeah I'm 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 really fucked all right I'm really really fucked um and and I've I've been working on like trying to trying to unspoil myself and that's that's actually kind of something I, I was trying to do as well like while I was here I was like okay I'm going to I have this amount of money um and this money can last me however long and I'm going to use this time I'm going to live as minimally as possible and I'm going to you know, eventually um, become financially independent and be able to sustain my own life and still not go to, gonna have to go to work. Like that's, I, I was looking for the magical solution, all right? Um, and there's no magical solution. There's just, it's it's the same conclusion that Buddha came up with. There's, there's no, uh, there's no alternative to suffering. There, there really isn't. You suffer one way or another. It's just the, the different ways that you suffer. Um, you, you, you have to suffer one way or another. There's only, there's no magical solution in life. There's only trade-offs, um, and that's that's what I realized. And and yeah, I, I've just, I've, I've woken up. Really, I've just, I've really just woken up. And I decided that, you know, I value having a. A better life more than not working that's that's what I decided and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to I'm going to make some money um, but as a result I need to sacrifice some things and um, my time making YouTube videos um, will might have to be one of those things I'm not going to you know I'm not like you know quitting YouTube completely I'm not gonna upload that much less but I probably won't be able to upload every single day um, depending on um, you know, depending on my schedule in the future, I'm not too sure. But uh, but yeah, sorry, sorry to tell you guys this bad news. Um, hopefully, you guys understand. And I know a lot of you guys do do really support me. But um, like you know, you guys watch all my videos and support me and like everything. Um, but there's there's a uh, there's reality, all right. And reality reality hits really hard. Um, and I'm. Like I'm done running away. I just I'm I'm going to face reality now, um, and that's it. I mean, maybe 0.01 percent of the population on YouTube can make this into an actual career. It just so happens that I I can't do that. I can't do that. Um, maybe in the future. I don't know. If I keep this YouTube channel going, maybe I'll grow big enough one day in the future. You never know. Um, but for now it's it's impossible for me so yeah hopefully you guys understand and i know a lot of you guys do show a lot of support i mean um you know just just this this saturday while i was streaming um you know two people donated to my stream they gave me some money and and said you know i should use this money to get some food and stuff because they they heard about my channel update and how i'm like living the hard life and i don't I don't know. I, I guess I'm still somewhat proud. I guess I don't want to. I don't want to uh, ask you guys to to help. I mean, definitely you guys. A lot of you guys would be happy to help, um, but I think I should be responsible for for my own life, and that's what that's what I decided. Um, but yeah, if you. I don't know if you. I mean, if you want to help, I'll 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 I'll, I'll take your money. To, you know, uh, <laughs> I I don't know. Like you know, when people say like I uh, I uh, you know, I'll, if you if you donate to me, I'll use use this money to increase my production value. Like I'll get a better mic or some shit like that. I have everything I need. Like this this webcam is like the one that every every streamer is using. I'm using a blue Yeti. Every streamer uses that as well. I have all the monitors I need. My PC is pretty good. Um, it's pretty old but it's still pretty good. Like I but a lot of this I also bought with my own money as well. So 
you know, I did have to make that sacrifice as well. And as a result, I don't have anything right now. I mean, I have a little bit of money to, to live for, for the next little while, but eventually that's going to, that's going to bleed out as well. Cause I, I definitely am not making, um, enough doing YouTube. So I just, I, I just have to face life. That's, that's it. <laughs> Um, a little bit more about the the whole. Uh... All right, let's let's do some Titan battles. All right, this is how I do my Titan battles. Don't don't tell anybody else. All right. All right let's, uh, let's actually make some new teams for Titan battles. This one was pretty good last time, right? People told me to use a shield guy. Problem is, I don't have any. Uh... Any more healers? <sighs> Wait, is attack up better than shield? I guess shield's better than attack up, right? Alright, I'm gonna pretend shield's better than attack up. God damn it. And we'll go with, uh,. What, what, what do we go with here? We need a healer. I don't have any other good healers. I only have that Hana. Or this Hana. And I need another attack down. People kept telling me the blind's not as important as another attack down. So, uh... I guess I'll move one Indra over here and I'll put one Verde on team one. That actually sounds much better. I'll use the Cupid lead here. And then I'll put another Indra on team 2. This should be pretty good as an attack down, right? And then I need a healer for team 1. I'll use my uh use my second Wood Hana. She's also gemmed up, but she's only evil 2 level 50. I guess it should be pretty good. Yeah, I should have saved that rip. Um, I, I, the last point I want to make is I, uh, about me making the website and stuff. Um, I think it was like a kind of like a, I was in the middle of thinking about doing this and then, but I really kind of still wanted to avoid it. So I was like, all right, I'll do something else to make money, um, that I would still love doing or some shit like that. And that's, that's, that's why I decided to start that, um, but yeah, it's 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 about time. It's about time I uh I uh I, I face reality. I'ma go after this Titan battle. We'll see how much uh how much damage I can do to him. Dang it, I'm not putting any blind on him. Oh shit. Uh. Oh shit, he put armor break on the Indra. I think I'm in trouble. Oh shit, my my uh my siren got silenced. Alright, she's dead. Everyone's dead. How is my Pino more tanky than the Indra? Oh no, he wasn't armor broken, that's why the Indra died. Oh man, if I put up this shield, I would have won. I would have won so hard. Shield OP, baby! Bye bye, cruel world. Oh, he lives! And he has his active up! One more hit! Alright, goodbye, cruel world. Man, that, that was the luckiest Pinolo ever. He has some crazy luck.
All right, he's got blind and uh, an attack down. I think we should be good. Dang, Indra's an absolute beast. Alright, this this side team, this the team on this side needs to be tankier. That's all I can say. Ah, uh, they're dead. Rip. Uh, goodbye, Crow World. If they were level 60, we would have... Would have had some, uh... Some fun times. This team was too weak. If this team was stronger, we would have lived longer. I should have put two healers there. Because this, this one is, like, way too tanky. We got... We got defense buff plus, uh... Plus shield. I should do that on both teams, actually. I should put like Light Venus on this team with a with another uh, Wood Hana, or maybe the new monster, the Pixie. She has a defense buff, right? She could also work as well. See how tanky this is? But we got no debuffs anymore. Rip. Uh, I need to keep my debuffers alive. The Leash Gem is like max healing the Indra every turn as well. So even if my healers don't have blue soul, he still lives. Nice, my music crashed. Alright, that's th that's it for my music. You know, it's, it's gone. <laughs> my Chrome crashed. This clan battle is too OP that my Chrome crashed. for another turn all right my cupid's dead this is gg it's gg for him and just got one last hit and he crits and now he's dead i'm pretty sure he's dead i don't think he'll live through this can he no he's dead got one shot there oh he did he did three point he did 3.2 million damage by himself that is uh that's pretty sweet Uh, that is some next level shit right there. All right. Anyways, that's uh, that's that's it. I'll I'll just do that one 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 fight. Um, but anyways, that's that's the end of the video. Um, hopefully you guys understand. Um, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to make more videos in the future once I have more freedom i don't know when that will be um but i think i think what's more important to me right now is just i need to i, I decided to get the fuck out of here i decided to get the fuck out of here that's that's what i decided i'll probably be here for another month it's the end of the month i'll pay like next month's rent i maybe i don't know like depending on uh, I'll i'll see what happens in the future maybe i'll just like live for another month here or so and then um, try to make like a steady income and then I'll probably move somewhere nearby as well but you know I, I'm, I'm not too sure um, I can move somewhere nearby but just a better place like with better living conditions um, than, than, than what I have right now but anyways uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out